Metro Conference time. College basketball at its finest. The conference features Virginia Commonwealth Sonny Smith, who is third on the Rams' all-time win list. And once again, Sonny's Rams are off to a good start with a 7-3 record. BCU has four players averaging in double-figure scoring. Tyrone McCoy, he can get it done from the inside and the outside. But when you're on a roll, look out for the big guy, Kendrick Warren, the Rams' leading scorer at better than 18 points per game. The Metro Conference defending champion Louisville Cardinals have won 10 straight games as Denny Crum's troops have rolled along ever since an opening season game loss at Kentucky. The Cards have great talent at almost every position. But Greg Miner and Dwayne Morton make the Cards fly high. It's the BCU Rams and the Cardinals of Louisville next on Raycom. <laughs> presents Metro Conference Basketball. Today's game is brought to you by Ford Mustang and by MCI. Live from Freedom Hall in Louisville, Kentucky, the Metro Conference afternoon competition begins with VCU Rams and the Louisville Cardinals. Hello, everybody. Jim Brinson, along with my tag team partner, Terry Gannon. Today's contest, we have the Clash of the Titans. No, it's not the 1980 Harry Hamblin flick with all the special effects. That was sci-fi. Today, we have reality with the two best big men in the Metro Conference. Without a doubt, Academy Award time today at Freedom Hall, Jimmy. And we do have the two best post players in the Metro. Kendrick Scorn Warren. You look at his numbers, averaging a double-double. He can take you inside. Got good moves to the basket. Takes you outside as well. Cliff Rozier, last year's Metro Conference Player of the Year, playing like that again this year. 17 NBA scouts in attendance today to take a look at these two fellas. One thing to watch early, Cliff Rozier left the ball game in the second half Thursday night against South Florida with a deep thigh root. So we'll see early on whether he's moving well or not. Big part of this offense and, more importantly, the defense, a great shot blocker. That'll be a key early, Jim. All right, and, of course, in today's game, it is VCU. They have dropped their last two games entering this afternoon's contest while Louisville lost their opener of the season at Kentucky, but they have rolled to 10 straight victories. We think we have a good one. We'll have more pregame report in just a moment on Raycom. And welcome back, everybody, to Freedom Hall in Louisville, Kentucky, the Rams and the Cardinals. Let's take a look at today's fourth game plan. Well, Jimmy, it's cold outside today, but the Rams have to be hot outside and shoot their threes well. They got to take away the card tricks, what Louisville likes to do. Their guards posting up the back doors, and they have to get some snowbirds, some easy buckets out of transition. For Louisville here at home, deny the passing lanes to make the ball very difficult to get inside to Kendrick Warren. Rozier's decisions, does he kick it back out when he's double teamed or does he take it to the hole and fight fatigue? They've played three games in the last five days after the trip to Hawaii, and it's awfully tough. They need a rest. And that's today's Ford game plan. We'll be back with the opening tip-off after these messages from your local station. This is the Raycom Sports and Entertainment Network. Welcome back, everybody, to Freedom Hall. We are only a moment or two away from the beginning of this afternoon's game, and we think we really have a dandy for you. And let's begin now with the starting lineups for Virginia Commonwealth. It's Tyrone McCoy and Kendrick Warren at the forward spots. Rodney Ashby getting the start in the center position. Terrence Gibson, Kenny Harris uh, are the guards. And for Louisville... Jason Osborne, Dwayne Morton at the forwards, Clifford Rozier, who Terry obviously has already talked about, Greg Miner, and Dewan Wheat getting the start at the guards. Good point guard matchup. Kenny Harris and Dewan Wheat as you look at Sonny Smith in his fifth year. 66 and 62, and this year has a good one. Some injuries, though, we'll talk about in a little bit, have left them shorthanded. Denny Crum in his 23rd year, one of 11 coaches and players nominated for the Hall of Fame. We'll find out in February whether he makes it this year or not. It's a packed house at Freedom Hall, and Tom O'Neill ready to toss it up, and this one is underway. And it's controlled deep in the corner by the Rams. And Kenny Harris brings it into the front court. Quickly, they go down low on the block. Kendrick Warren, double covered, has to kick it back out. Here's your matchup early. Kendrick Warren and Cliff Rozier, Jimmy. And that will be a good one all day long. 
that went off the leg of Sam Croft, the official, after it was touched by Kenny Harris, which means the officials, when they're in play, it's a live ball. Consequently, the turnover, and Louisville has it. So the defense already from Louisville. This crowd's into this thing this afternoon. As loud as I've heard them in a long time. Louisville doesn't waste any time as Greg Miner drops down the first basket of the afternoon. Easy bucket to start for Miner, and he does so many things well for this team. Almost run away, but saved by McCoy. You see VCU, what they're trying to do. Get it to this man, Kendrick Warren. They'll get it down low. They'll take him outside. Can't get it to go, but he'll try to take Cliff Rozier to the basket. Boy, the outlet pass by Osborne to Morton, who takes it right to the hoop. Has it rejected, but the follow shot is good by Rozier. Looks like he's running all right early, Jim. He has that thigh bruise. Had to be taken out against South Florida, but he looks like he's moving pretty well. They look down low on the block. Nothing there. Warren again. Too hard off the back of the bracket. The ball is tipped, controlled by Louisville, and the foul on Kendrick Warren. Frustration foul, huh? Plank one off the backboard from the free throw line and then committed the foul on in the front part of the floor. And he can't afford to get in foul trouble. They just don't have any depth. So you look at Morton on the break. The last time down, watch Cliff Rozier come in and get the follow-up. Nice block by Tyrone McCoy, but three white shirts around the basket for Louisville. And if you allow them to get stickbacks today, they'll burn you. Well, I think you indicated that probably the leg injury not bothering Rozier today because he was down the court in a hurry that time for the follow-up. And here's Rozier in the high post. Knocked away by Warren. Good defense. But it's Louisville who will collect it and score in the presence of Greg Viner. Kenny Harris trying to push it up and get some easy buckets, and they have to shoot well from the outside. This man, Tyrone McCoy, normally as he goes, so goes the offense. As Gibson lets it go, it rattles, won't fall. Ashby works hard in underneath and controls it. And that will be out of play. And right now, VCU coming out very cold. Now, Sonny Smith up and clapping right now, but uh, he's worried at this point because if his club doesn't shoot well, especially... Tyrone McCoy, Kenny Harris, and Terrence Gibson. That's how they lost the last two games. They've got to shoot well from the outside to open it up for Kendrick Bourne. That's not bad, huh? Oh, pretty Four, impressive. 462 and 83. Ashby with the rebound off the Morton miss. Rams quickly the opposite direction. Nice. Looks down the a good entry pass into Warren. Had it slapped away, and Rozier gets hit with the reach-in foul. Nice high-low that time from VCU. They worked the high post with Rodney Ashby. He was really a nice passer in that spot. He's playing for an injured Mark Jackson, the freshman who is out. And, and Rodney did a nice little bounce pass inside. But Kendrick's got to go quicker. He can't wait that long. He's going to get help in there and be surrounded. Morton right to the basket. Didn't know if he should lay it up or dunk the basketball. And he ended up missing. I have that problem. Yeah, time. right. Here's Ashby at the other end. And the Rams are on the board. Well, Rodney with the dunk early, huh? When's the last time he had a snowbird dunk? <laughs> he doesn't get many of those. He's doing a nice job for them, though. Mark Jackson, we'll talk more about him, but talented freshman who's out of the lineup. As you see, Dewan Wheat do what he has done for most of this year. Knocked down outside Jays. And quickly, the Rams running, and Warren gets hacked. Greg Miner collects his first personal and the second team foul for Louisville. Now, Denny Crum, you got to be pleased with the start to this season. 10 and 1, best start for the Cardinals since 1974 75. You know, they, they've had two national championships since then. This is their best start since 75. And Warren got the shooter's bounce, as they say. I asked Denny Crum yesterday, we were at his practice session, I said, Denny, generally you guys aren't this good this early. Was he worried? Yes, <laughs> he was. You're just waiting for something to happen, to come crashing down, but I, I don't think it will. They've got enough talented players, and the freshmen playing so well. Oh, and the three ball drained from the outside. As McCoy knocks it down, and now it's a 9-6 game. Direction is Jason Osborne, the freshman out of Mayo High School here in Louisville. 
Another uh, pretty good Cardinal came out of Mel High School. Ashby shouldn't have kicked it off. He should have taken it right to the rack. Osborne reminding folks of Daryl Griffiths out of Mel High School from Louisville. Rozier controls. Here's the outlet, but Kenny Harris is oh. going to beat everybody to the ball. How about the hands on Kenny Harris, huh? McCoy spots up for three. Short Ooh. off the front of the iron. Ashby working oh, the offensive glass. Hey, I'll tell you what. It, two big shockers. Tyrone McCoy shoots an air ball on a three. Wide open. He normally knocks those down. And then Rodney Ashby with the follow-up. He doesn't put up big numbers for VCU, but if he can give them six points a game, six rebounds, something like that, he's and not make mistakes, he's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, he averages six coming into today's game, and he has four already. Here's Rozier on Warren down low. Osborne, that'll be a traveling violation. Second turnover for Louisville. Time called. We have 15.42 to go in the first half of play. It's Louisville 12, VCU 8. We'll be right back after these messages. Well, it didn't take long for these two teams to uh, heat it up. Look at what Louisville has done defensively this year, and that's been consistent. That switching man-to-man -man defense, which causes so many problems. One thing BCU would like to do today is create some mismatches on the switch. Get a Kendrick Warren on maybe a Dewan Weed or a minor. Right now, Rozier on Warren, and they've gone to him every time down. As you look at what both clubs have done shooting-wise, BCU only shooting 30%, but right in this one, only down four. Not a good pass. It wasn't a bad entry pass, third turnover, and this is Miner right to the basket, and he swoops up and scores it. That's a Greg Miner-type basket. At the end of the game, you look up, and he's got like 18, 19 points. You say, how'd he get him? I didn't even realize he was out there. He does all the little things well, and very rarely makes a bad decision. Well, he has six points right now. Here's McCoy working down low on the block. Tough situation. Kicks it back out. Ashby's got another one. Hey, if he could do that for this ball club, they're going to be in every game they play. Ashby has got his average already. He has six. Had 14 points against Tulsa in their loss in their last game. Ashby trying to control it. Rozier, however, collects the loose ball. Left hand is good. Well, that's what he can do real well, though, as Rozier gets the bucket. You saw Ashby go up, couldn't grab the rebound. Down. Just doesn't have some of the physical skills that, as some of the guys who he's playing against, but gets everything out of his ability. They've done a pretty good job bottling up Kenny Harris so far. Warren quickly double teamed, but he worked his way down low on the block and gets the hoop. Three points now for Kendrick Warren. He's touched the ball every time down that they've had to go to the half-court set. Well, he's got to. Exactly. You're exa they're doing a great job of getting him the basketball. Most of the games in which he's been involved in so far this year, he's been doubled and triple team. But right now they have Rozier pretty much playing him face up, which is what we thought we would see in today's game. Yep. Now you got Rozier down low. Warren can't guard him on the block. He's got to get help, and he does. Minor penetrating move. Pulls up free throw line. Counted. And the foul. All right, fans, here it is on the MCI Proof Positive Replay. Take a look at the last time down, and you see Rodney Ashby go for the rebound. Can't get it, Rozier hanging around. Nothing wrong with that thigh early on in this one, and a little spin move up and in on the stick back for Cliff Rozier. That's our Proof Positive Replay, courtesy of MCI. And the walking violation on Rozier. Third turnover for the Cardinals. Mentioned it in the open. If you look at Denny Crum upset about that call. 17 NBA scouts in attendance today. Good overplay on the pass, but it was Ashby who got it back, and Warren slams it through. Well, you see a lot of those, and we'll see them all year long. Kendrick Warren up around the rim. Boy, he's really become such a player. I mean, you knew it when he first entered VCU. Now their whole offense geared towards getting him the ball, and he's responding. Haven't heard much yet from Dwayne Morton. <laughs> I'm Keith. And there it is. And the foul. Cue it up, Jimmy. Thank you. Are you coaching out here? Right down low to Dwayne Morton for the bucket. You look at the last time. Look at Rozier go after it. Ashby down on the floor, picks up the loose ball. Down to Kendrick Warren. So an assist to Ashby and Warren with emphasis. Looking at the other end, Dwayne Morton, after Jimmy said we haven't heard from him, 
He says, uh, well, you're going to hear from me now. A little put in and a chance to make it a three-point play. Can't get it, though. And Gibson controls for the Rams. Ooh, oh, what a serious three. pick. What a <laughs> pick by Warren. Man. And Kenny Harris drops it down, but it was the pick that set up everything. I mean, that was counter gap. That was the Redskins going <laughs> counter gap and the guard pulling. That was Daryl Green on Michael Irvin. <laughs> Rozier operating out high, spins, quickly runs into heavy traffic, and they get him for the traveling violation. And I'm going to tell you something, Jimmy. Great job by Kendrick Warren, making Cliff Rozier spin to his right shoulder. He likes to spin to his left shoulder. Warren would not let him do that, and he's just not as effective, and he picks up the, the turn. Watch him. Watch him plant. See him plant him to the left side. He makes him go to his right shoulder, has to dribble with the left hand, and he's not quite as effective doing it. Doesn't want to do it. Down low on the block, Warren had it, lost it, knocked out of bounds, and it's going to be Louisville ball. Four turnovers now for the Cardinals in this game, and also four for VCU. Four-point advantage, Louisville, at 2016. Crowd kind of quiet right now after we've settled into this one. Well, so far, it's lived up to the buildup. Oh, oh. With a little scoop shot that... Didn't draw any iron. And here come the Rams. They need to get some easy ones. And Kareem Washington quickly, he came in off the bench and missed his first offering. Minor. He's here today. Getting him inside on the break. Getting a shot. Already in double figures is Minor. He has 11. And VCU turns it over. Timeout is called. A standing O here at Freedom Hall with 18,000 looking on. 23-16, Louisville out in front. Terry and I will be right back after this. Welcome back, everybody. Jim Brinson, Terry Gannon with you live at Freedom Hall. Louisville leads it 23-16 over VCU. And a run right before the timeout. Greg Miner, five out of five. He's got 11 points. He's running the break. He's spotting up, shooting the threes, doing it all for Louisville right now. And they have so many weapons, Jimmy, to, to hurt you. Not only Rozier inside, but a lot outside as you look at the Cardinals three out of four so far from three-point land. And VCU shooting a little better. They were shooting 30%, but they've gotten some good looks in the last minute or two, and they haven't hit them. Not going down right now. They bring Rozier out on the wing, and you see Warren quickly back off. Here's the baseline double down low, and we've got a push. And they've got McCoy. Fouls on McCoy, number 22, is second team fourth. Second personal on Tyrone McCoy in the fourth team foul. It'll be an inbounds play. Nice job by VCU on the out of bounds. Louisville always runs that line, trying to get a jump shot. McCoy went for the steal, but he got there a moment too late. Here's the double on Rozier, baseline. He kicks it out to the wing. Good rotation by Louisville to yes, free sir. up a shooter, and we got a whistle and a foul. They got Washington for the hole. Well, they really did rotate nicely. Active on defense, but they get the foul out on the perimeter, and VCU really can't afford to get in foul trouble. To see McCoy having a seat now with two fouls, he's really been the key for them, too. They've got three losses, and he has shot, I think, four out of 34 in the three losses. So when he's not in there, they really have to go to Kendrick Warren. George Bird checks into the lineup. 6'7", 245-pound freshman out of Gainesville, Florida. We'll talk about their other freshman, prize recruit, who's out with the injury here in just a moment. Ball battled for and controlled by the Rams. This is Kenny Harris with a left-hand penetration. Nice move, center of the lane. Coast to coast against Dewan Wheat. And that's a great matchup today. The freshman in Wheat against the experienced Kenny Harris. Harris now has four points. Rozier wasn't ready for that pass that time. Five turnovers now for Louisville. Good recognition by Kenny Harris. Knowing McCoy's out, they need some scoring from him right now. Doesn't look to dish. He takes Wheat low inside and is able to score. And one of the things that makes him so tough is he can end the break with a shot. He can finish where a lot of point guards can't. Here's Bird. Kick it back outside. Harris is open, and he drills it for a three-pointer. They lost him. Where was the defense? 
Kind of like the way you used to play, D. Hey, 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 now. <laughs> Seven points now for Harris. Bring up my defense. <laughs> there was none of it. Here's the steal by Washington. DCU's defense now. Rising to the occasion. Harris going baseline. Lay it up. Good. Hey, how about Kenny Harris? McCoy goes out. He scores the next three buckets. I mean, that's just senior leadership. A guy who knows when it's his time to score. And all of a sudden, we got a tie game. And nine points for Kenny Harris. Time to go to Cliff, huh? Down on the block. Well, they've tried it, but each time he's touched the basketball, they've doubled and tripled him. Here's another steal by Kendrick Warren. Washington, and Rozier gets there, but the follow is good. Gibson. Gibson. Denny, Denny Crum not calling a timeout right now, and he tends to let his team play through things. But they're really playing kind of lackadaisical. After that last TV timeout, they've had no juice. Osborne pulls up, couldn't get the shot off, threw it away. Freshman mistake. Stripped beautifully by Osborne as he brings it back the opposite direction and draws the foul. Boy, there's the freshman making a mistake and then correcting it almost immediately. How about Kenny Harris at the other end, though? One-on-one -on -one with Greg Miner. I'm going to beat you to the baseline. Up with a little push and in. Nothing but net. And Harris has brought them back to take the lead. And again, the crowd, Jimmy, taking right out of it right now. Doug Ashby back in the lineup now for VCU. Miner lets it fly from the outside. In and out, it wouldn't drop. Harris give it off. Kendrick Warren down the lane. The pass off the dribble from Kenny Harris. And all of a sudden, VCU on a big time run. Well, we told you during our pregame remarks that the Rams have some talented basketball players, and you are seeing those skills right now. Watch him double, triple, Rozier, and Cliff can't get it to roll. And it's Warren who has the rebound for VCU, and here comes Harris again. Penetrating move, rejected at the other end by Miner, but Ashby collects it and scores. Wow. I mean, they're... Right now, VCU just outplaying Louisville in every aspect, out hustling them, going to the boards. You watch Kenny Harris. He finds Kendrick Warren. What a nice little shovel pass as Warren beats Rozier up the court. And again, Kenny Harris doing a great job on the penetration going down low. It's blocked, but Ashby's right there. Second time we've seen him hanging around and go up and get a putback. Ashby with eight points so far in this game. Another one. Kenny Harris will get a rest as Davis checks in. As Sonny Smith goes to the bench with his team leading by seven. Well, Sonny goes to the bench because then he crumb went to the bench. And yeah, that's Tick Rogers controlling now. Yeah, yeah he's he... bringing to Brian Kaiser. You got Matt Simons down low. Airballed that one. And here come the Rams on the run again. Right to the hoop. The finger flip is too hard. Almost tipped up and in again by Ashby. Miner. Well, there's a guy who's going to shoot you back in. He seems to be the guy today for Louisville. 13 for Greg Miner. Well, the experienced man right now on the floor. He's the one guy who's a starter who's on the floor for the Cardinals. Keith Davis, swing it to Kendrick Warren. Right to the basket. He went right oh, by Simons. Warren. Well, that's not Cliff Rozier guarding him right now. That's Matt Simons, the freshman. Welcome to college basketball. Man. Hello, Kendrick. <laughs> you may see the uh, the starters back in in a moment for Denny Cole. Osborne going baseline. Nice move. Kicks the ball back outside. Miner is again is set up, but this one's short off the front of the iron. Jason Osborne, short. Rebound. Goes to Kendrick Warren, and the Rams are in flat court. Wow, 16 to 2. That doesn't happen very often here at Freedom Hall. For three! Oh, try 19 to 2 run. How many times do you see an opposing club come in here and go on a 19 to 2 run at Freedom Hall? That just doesn't happen. For Kendrick Warren, that is his first three pointer of this season. And we match away, but Jimmy in the open in our four keys to the game, the fatigue coming into play for Louisville. Three games in the last five days. After the trip to Hawaii, I think right now mentally and physically they look a little down, look a little tired. And Warren can 
controls that rebound. And VCU played last week. They've had five, six days worth of rest. Yeah, they're fresh. And they come in the big game at Freedom Hall, start the Metro year. And right now, Louisville just a little bit fatigued. Boy, Ashby wants it. There's nobody near him. And we have a three-second lane violation. They got Ashby on that one. 20, 35 to 25. VCU out in front of Louisville. We'll be back after this message from your local station. This is the Raycon Sports and Entertainment Network. We're really trounced. Louisville playing awfully well, but in this game, they're not. You look at Louisville and what they've done field goal-wise, shooting 48%. VCU is at 30% about five minutes ago, now 58. 58, unbelievable. Brian Kaiser, drop pass down low on the block. Rozier has it, hit from behind, no whistle. Rozier with a follow. Well, he's got to really, in this spurt right here, Jimmy, make his fe presence felt. You've got Bird in there, a freshman. You've got Ashby in there. You don't have Kendrick Warren. Defensively, the Rams really short-handed. Morton on the steal, then he crumbed on like it. He shakes his head. They call the foul. That'll be Morton's first personal. Juan Wheat back into the lineup. Simon sits down. And Denny's been up quite a bit. He in has first been, yeah. Well, he sat for the first three minutes. It was going well. Yeah, it yeah. was. And then all of a sudden, things changed in a hurry. This is Gibson. See what VCU is able to do without Warren in the lineup now. And, and they don't have McCoy in there either. Well, there's the quick hands of Morton going the other way. Well, he got called for the foul on the previous steal. So he said, I got to get that one back. I think you're going to see Warren into the lineup in a hurry. Have to. He's already up off the bench. Sonny Smith already said, Kendrick, get over here. Kenny Harris, penetrating move. Had it blocked from behind, right in the hands of Ashby, who didn't get that one to drop. You see Rodney Ashby making the call for the official? <laughs> he is pumped today. Here it is on the MCI. Proof positive replay. Wayne Morton. Off the steal and the easy bucket. Yeah, that's fun. Hangs a little bit. Inbounds comes into Ashby. Kenny Harris down low on the block. Ashby frees himself beautifully and collects the pass and scores again. What a look from Kenny Harris, too, huh? 11 points now for Ashby. Wow. Not a good shot. No, it wasn't. But there is Morton on the follow. Couldn't get it to go, and Ashby collects the rebound, and the Rams running. Rodney, what'd you have for breakfast today, huh? Kendrick, strong to the basket, got hit, no foul. Now it's Sonny Smith who's up and screaming. Louisville back the other way. Morton. Oh Time to take the air out of it a little bit for Sonny Smith's club. Go ahead and walk it up. Get something out of your offense now that you have Kendrick Warren back in. Because here comes the run from the Cardinals. Lob down low on the block. What a catch. It was a great catch. And they quickly closed around Warren, and he drew the foul. And they get Tick Rogers. That will be his first personal. Hey, Denny's been up a lot today, but Sonny has been very calm. Usually, you have that running uh, commentary on the sideline from Sonny Smith. Not today. Here's the inbounds play. Washington, open baseline, walks in underneath, has to kick it back outside, Kendrick Warren. Oh, what a move, what a huh? move. Yeah, sensational oh, move. Gibson. Terrence Gibson. Gibson, who has a pinched nerve in his back, was questionable for today's game. Didn't look bad on that drive. Averaging better than 14 points a contest, but that's his first hoop today. Horton falls away, he's short off the front of the iron, and guess who? Rodney Ashby with another rebound. The everywhere man in this first half. Eight boards now for Ashby. Gibson lets it fly for three. No good. I'll tell you what, though, Jimmy, the defense for Louisville is just not there in the first half, and I think it's because they're tired. Ashby comes over to challenge Morton. That's a good foul that time by Rodney Ashby because Morton was wide open, would have slammed it home, and Ashby took the air out of it right there. Oh, what a first half he has had, Rodney Ashby. Now, last year, the last couple of years, Ashby really didn't get that much time. 
but he started the year in the starting lineup this year. Most folks thought Mark Jackson, the freshman, would take over that role in the next couple of weeks. Jackson out for the next two weeks with that knee injury as you look at Brian Kaiser taking a seat. But uh, Ashby, I don't know if he's going to rel relinquish that starting role once Jackson comes back. Ashby has had a splendid first half thus far. This is Morton at the line. Boy, this place gets quiet. Maybe they should make a little more noise. Rodney Ashby, who is one of the, the more fun guys to uh, come in contact with in the Metro, does color commentary on his high school's basketball games, Colonial Heights. And uh, he wants our jobs one thing. I guess he does. 39-32, <laughs> VCU in front. We'll be back after this message from Schick Super Hoops, the largest, most exciting three-on-three -three tournament in the country. Welcome back, everybody. 321 to play first half. And surprising, VCU out in front of Louisville at 39-32. Well, we told you it would be the clash of the Titans, Cliff Rozier and Rodney Ashby, and we met it. Actually, we told you about Kendrick Bourne. Rodney Ashby has stole the show here in the first half, Jimmy. Well, we didn't lie. We just sort of hedged a little bit. That's what we did. Shooting percentages. Look at that second eight-minute span where they went to 62 percent and Louisville dropped from 66 to 26. Offensively really not getting any motion, any activity. Kareem Washington, left hand and he blocked it right up into the air and Bird was there to collect it and score. See, I haven't seen the, the defense so passive all year long for Louisville. Lob down low on the block, Rozier's got it in between two players and the whistle of the foul on Kendrick Warren. Second foul for Kendrick Warren, and we'll see what Sonny Smith does. He goes to the bench. McCoy, we haven't seen him in the wild since he got his second foul. And nice catch by Cliff inside, huh? In traffic, three men around him, and Warren brought the hand down. If he went straight up with the arm, he wouldn't have gotten the foul. Well, you said earlier in this first half of play that Warren could not play Rozier face up. He's going to have to have help. And he did that time, and I think he would have been better off just bodying him up, going straight up, and if he gets the bucket, so what? Rozier averaging better than 18 a contest coming into today's game. Field goal percentage better than his free throw percentage. It certainly is. He's only a 51% free thrower. His field goal percentage is up around 65. First time that we've seen the 2-2-1 full court press from the card. Good move by Ashby to take care of the basketball and get it into the front court. Harris lets it go from way outside. It's no good. But again, Kenny Harris knowing now you got Kendrick Warren out, he's going to have to score for them. On the block. They double on Rozier. He kicks it way outside to Wheat. Oh, Only a two. His foot was on the line, but the one he thinks he's, he's asking three. about it. Yeah. yeah, he wanted the three there. Important two minutes here to end the first half, Jimmy. We'll see without Warren, without McCoy, if BCU can hold the lead. And that is going to be Louisville basketball. That's an excellent call by official Tom O'Neill. Well, this is an excellent officiating crew today with Tom O'Neill, Steve Welmer, and Sam Croft. And look at Denny doing the coaching. He does more coaching during games, I think, than he does in practice. It's a great job of during games showing players what's going on and teaching, and I think that's a better time to do it anyway. And a three-second lane violation. You know, a lot of times, Jimmy, in practice, when you, players hear something or see something, it doesn't translate to games. If you can do it during a game and show them when it just happened, what went wrong, why, what they have to change, it sticks in their mind more. Louisville has turned the ball over nine times in the first half of play. Lob on the block. It's Ashby who got it and had to kick it out. He didn't have a shot. That's 10 turnovers now for VCU. Make it 10 for Louisville as the Rams snatch it right back. Wow. Forty-one thirty-six. We're winding down to the one-minute mark in the first half. Ashby double team. Washington won't take it from there. Tries to get inside. Bird walks. You can see why VCU does not want to play without Kendrick Warren. Because offensively, 
they just are not sure of what they want to do right now. And if you deny the perimeter players the basketball, don't let Kenny Harris get a shot off, they're really going to struggle. Miner on the wing. VCU staying. Oh, look at that. With a triple team on Rogier. Four, four guys are on it. Wheat from the outside. He rings up the three. And now it's a two-point game. And VCU will hold for one. There's about a second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. They want to make sure that they have the lead, and they should be able to do that here unless they turn it over. And the guy with the basketball is the man who's going to make it roll. At 15 seconds, you'll see him go at about seven or eight. Walking in, Kenny's going to let it fly from the outside. Missed the three, Bird's got the... And the foul. They get Osborne. It's the third on Jason Osborne. Wow, what a big, big foul. Jason Osborne in the game with two fouls, and he commits his third with just under seven seconds left in the first half. I thought Kenny Harris took this a little early. He took it with about 10 seconds. Louisville had time to get a rebound, go down and score. Yep, he got him on the arm, no question. Here's the inbounds. They better hurry. Comes into Ashby. Down to five, four, three. Good move. Left hand will go, but the follow is good as time expires in the first half. That's Bird, who lurked around the entire time around the basket. First got the foul on the first offensive rebound. This time collects the ball and tips it in as VCU stays in front of Louisville at the half at 43-39. The Rams with the lead over the Cardinals. And welcome back, everybody. 43-39, VCU leading the Louisville Cardinals here at Freedom Hall. And this game has lived up to everything we thought it would be. More. I didn't expect this. I, tell you, <laughs> I, I didn't expect the 19-2 run from VCU. But Rodney Ashby doing a great job. He's got 11 points at the half. He's really the, the missing uh, player in there. The, the guy who, if he can give you double figures, VCU is going to win a lot of games this year. Yeah, they really are. And, uh, of course, they are missing, too, one of their prize freshman recruits. Well, you look at some of the highlights early on, Jimmy, and on the break, something Louisville did well at the beginning of the game. You see the pass from Wheat to Morton, and then the follow-up by Rogier, who ran the court very well. The thigh not bothering him that much. I think fatigue as much as anything bothering the Cardinals. VCU right back, though. Kenny Harris, once Tyrell McCoy went out of the game, Harris did a great job running the break, and he scored three straight buckets after McCoy went out. That's a point guard who knows when he has to score. Good ball movement, too offensively and the first three-pointer of the year for Kendrick Warren he was down low he was hitting threes pumped up as VCU had that big run the Cardinals though going down low to Cliff Rozier look at the the crowd that he draws three VCU Rams he kicks it out and the Cardinals this year can hurt you from four different spots from three-point land to one week that time with a three-pointer it is a 43-39 advantage for the VCU Rams. We'll be back with more halftime. Well, Terry and I talked about the clash of the Titans. Well, it did become a reality, I guess. Uh, we talked about that in the open. Kendrick Warren against Cliff Rozier. You look at what they've done today. 12 in the first half for Warren. 8 for Rozier, and they've got to get him the basketball more. But how about the surprise of the afternoon in the first half? Rodney Ashby underneath the hoop. Watch him on the follow-up. And he was everywhere in the first half. He's one of those guys who's just out there to give them some good minutes and not make mistakes. 11 points, 8 rebounds. A big reason why they're up by 4 right now. All right, so now if you're Denny Crum, you're in the locker room and you say, hey, we got to turn it up another notch. Well, I think so. you got to be cognizant of this man because he's playing right. well today. But also, I think Denny Crum's club right now is just fatigued. I think they've got to, to dig down and find it somewhere. Find that juice, Jimmy, to get back up, get the crowd back into this game. They've always played well when they've won games here at Freedom Hall in the first three minutes of the second half, especially with their defense. Let's watch them on defense if that same fire is there. It wasn't in the first half. Rodney Ashby uh, sort of walking by while you were talking there and uh, pumped his fist <laughs> at us. They've trailed only once this season at the half, and they lost that game. That was to Kentucky at Rupp. Yeah, their opening game of the season. They've really been playing well. I, really, over the last two weeks, they have just been clicking. 
Not so in the first half. Well, here's Rozier to start it off. And here comes the double. Ashby and Warren. And Cliff dribbles out of it and finds the man in the corner. Osborne with the little pass down low, but McHenry blocked it from behind. But Morton got it back and scored. Everybody thought Jason Osborne was going to pass except Dwayne Morton, who has played with him, and he knows he looks for you at all times. There's the defense, Jimmy. Look at it. It's a different defense right off the bat. The intensity is there. They're moving, moving the feet. The crowd starts to get pumped up. Gets it outside. Kendrick Warren with the shot. Short off the front of the iron. And Osborne has it quickly. The Cardinals are in front court. Double team on Rozier. He kicks it back out. Osborne does take the three ball. This time it won't go. And Morton has the offensive rebound as he beat Kenny Harris to the basketball. Wheat. Freshman to freshman, Osborne to Wheat, and a tough, tough shot. He was fading away. Kenny Harris almost had it stripped away. And we have a whistle and a foul. No, oh, they just called the timeout. BCU calling the timeout. No foul called as Louisville has taken a one-point lead, 44-43. We'll be right back in after Charlotte, this. A much smaller venue than the Charlotte Coliseum and a better one, Jimmy, for UNC uh, Charlotte. The new building, though, they've broken ground on that, so that will be up shortly. First lead since 10-21 of the first half for Louisville. At that time, they had a 23-21 advantage. And Dewan Wheat gets called for the foul. And Tyrone McCoy taking Wheat down low on the block. McCoy only played eight minutes in the first half, and uh, he's going to have to to shoot some threes here in the second half, Jimmy. But already for Louisville, you've seen the defense picking up. Look at Kenny Harris being denied the ball by Osborne. Just didn't have that in the first half. And they try to set up Kendrick Warren down low, and I think they got Rozier for the hole. Yep. They did. His second personal. Well, when they clear it out for Kendrick Warren down low, no one else is around, and it's awfully tough for Cliff Rozier to front him, be in front of him, in between the ball and Warren the whole time if there's good ball movement. Down low, Warren's got it, goes up with a left hand and got it to fall. I'd say he's pretty excited about it, I too. guess so. <laughs> wow. And he'll go to the line, an opportunity to complete the three-point play as the Rams retake the lead. Watch him use the left hand, too. The pass underneath the switch. Nice pass from Kenny Harris. Up with the left hand, draws the foul from Rozier and the bucket. Nice reaction. It's a little high five from his teammates. Missed the opportunity, but Ashby had it and then lost it out of bounds, and it's going to stay BCU basketball. Rozier now with three personal fouls, and uh, Denny Crum leaving him in the game right now. And I, I think a good move. I mean, at some point, you might want to sit him down and get him a rest and try to buy some time with those three fouls. But he's got to be in there against Warren. Boy, Warren wants the ball, and that's why. Yep. 16 points now for Kendrick Warren. He comes into this afternoon's contest averaging a little better than 18. The leading scorer on the Rams team. The spread offense, as they like to use now. They have it in football. They've now gone to that phrase in basketball. Spread the floor. Now well, we've had to run and shoot in both sports. Oh, almost got a foul. And it's stripped away. Yeah. McCoy can't hang on to it. Finally, it's knocked out of bounds, but it's going to be Rams basketball. That thing had a life of its own for a while, didn't it? <laughs> Dribbling itself down the court. Stick a fork in it. <laughs> uh, McCoy never could get the handle. Then Wheat finally slapped it out of bounds. They take a long time on the inbounds. Finally, Ashby collects it. McCoy lets it go from three. It's going to be way off the mark. And out of bounds, and the fans are going to get after him now for the air ball. Uh, Sonny, not pleased with that one. Been very subdued today, though. He has been. You're right. It has generally been a running conversation from the sidelines. No, yeah, normally it is. He's taking the positive approach on the road here at Freedom Ball. Rozier, good look outside. Osborne, baseline, in trouble. Finds Morton. 
penetrating move. He gave it the two-foot stop, which got him his balance and was able to lay it up and in. As good a first step as anyone has in this league. Dwayne Warren Moore. in traffic. Couldn't get it to go. Ball is tapped outside. Kenny Harris. 4-3. Sonny wasn't subdued on that one. He no, was bringing up the three, Jimmy, on the sideline. Got to give credit to McCoy. He shoots an air ball, then he knocks down the three. <laughs> Sonny was up in the air on that three. McCoy struggles and then buries it. But Warren really pushing Rozier down low. A lot of heavy body contact going on in the lane. Here's Rozier, double team. Dewan Wheat has to kick it back outside. Ball was knocked away. Kenny Harris, it's a three-on-two opportunity. Ashby couldn't get it to fall, but he draws the contact, and he'll go to the line. Yep, there's a positive approach again. Easy to be positive, too, when you got a four-point lead on the road at Freedom Hall. But Sonny up and off the bench again. Watch the break now after Rozier triple team down low. That ball's going to be kicked right back out. Weak took too much time with it. He had a man open, Miner, at the top of the key. Normally, Kenny Harris might not give Ashby this ball on the break. He's not a guy you want to have handling it, but today he's playing so well, he dishes it off to him. All right, Ashby does indeed miss the first free throw opportunity. Rodney at the line, only a 55% free throw shooter. And the second one looked pretty good. In fact, Virginia Commonwealth only shoots 62% at the free throw line as a team. Now Louisville only shoots 63 I know, yeah. Both teams, really, from the, the line. Not very good this year. Martin for three. Around and out. Rebound. Down low on the block, and the final shot is good by Miner. Warren spins. Oh, Great oh, right hand oh, move. He split two players and flipped them up and in for 18 points in today's game. He was underneath the basket. I don't know how he even got it to the front side of the hoop. Osborne short off the iron. Rozier is there. Warren did not do a good job of blocking the big man out. And Clifford takes it right back with just a strong power move. Got tired of kicking it back out. I think so. Kenny Harris for three. Rattled and dropped it. Well, and again, I think Louisville a little bit tired defensively. There's no way, if you're active, you can allow Kenny Harris to shoot an open three. Counting down to the 15-minute mark in the second half. A six-point advantage for the Rams. From the outside, no good. Rebound. Much better block out that time by VCU. Osborne wanted to pass it. Indecision kills you. Ashby got another one. And who beat everybody down the floor? Alan Ashby. Fresh legs. Now, Rodney Ashby uh, didn't normally get snowbirds, and he adds two today. He had the dunk in the first half. Again, beats everyone down the floor. I think Louisville taking a little time here. I think they're a little bit tired. You see a couple of guys with their hands on their knees. This is Morton from the outside. Three ball will not go. Warren skies for the rebound. And here comes Kenny Harris pushing it up. Uh-oh. Down the lane, Kendrick Warren! Uh-oh. Having fun. And Rozier never made it down the court on defense. No, in fact, he's dragging it right now. You see him bent over at the top of the circle. They need a timeout, and they take it. Denny wanted to wait for the TV timeout. He can't wait now, though. He's got to call it. It's a 10-point lead for the Rams, 60 to 50. We'll be back. Welcome back, everybody. 10-point lead for BCU over Louisville, and here's one of the reasons. Look at Kendrick Warren. Watch the move he makes. My gosh, what body control, huh? Splits the two defenders up and in. Down at the other end, then, the long shot by Jason Osborne, and he's short. Everybody's short right now for Louisville because they're a bit tired. Rozier, though, makes sure that he's not short. He gets the little lay-in through two defenders. All right, now let's take a look at today's six game summary. Here it is. Warren with 20 points, doing some work in the second half. Look at the runs that they have had today. Louisville, the last 16 minutes, under 40%. Oh, what a rebound. And Kendrick Warren putting on a show this afternoon in Louisville. For VCU, and I know Louisville's a bit tired, fatigued, but boy, they have just taken it right at the Cardinals today. Ashby, great entry pass to Warren. Ball is locked loose from behind, but Warren got it back. 
Gillespie with the ball fake, takes it up, good! <laughs> Boy, he feels good today. 16 points, Rodney Ashby. What was that little pregame talk you gave him before the contest? Today? I always talk with him. What a great guy he is. It, it's so fun to watch him play the way he is today because he has not had a game like this in his career at VCU. It's a 12-point advantage for VCU. Miner slowing the pace down. Solid defense by the Rams. Kaiser short with a three-point shot. And Kendrick Warren has another rebound. All right, and the subs in for Denny Crum. He had to get his starters out except for Miner, as you see the turnover, because they were so tired. But, you know, you're down 12 now. And they tried to force that pass that time. And Simmons, the freshman, Nice defensive job to knock it away and cause the turnover. See if they can get Brian Kaiser a shot. Really a, a great jump shooter, and Rodney Ashby, a post player, is on it. Right. Number three right here. He's looking for it right now, there and he go. got it. He missed his first two and took him a couple to maybe get the range. Yeah, he's just a pure shooter, and in the ball game right now with Ashby on him, he should be able to get shots off. Well, Denny Clubs decided to go with this reserve lineup with the exception of Dwayne Morton. Kenny Harris, center of the lane, ball knocked away with Greg Miner. Miner, right to the rack, give it off, Kaiser, and he missed the slam dunk. It was short off the rim. Ball loose on the floor. It's a rugby scrub. Get in there, Terry, separate those guys. Game of Twister we got going on out here. <laughs> Possession arrow goes to BCU. Kaiser should have taken it out and shot the three, I guess, huh? <laughs> Watch Kendrick Warren on the hustle at the other end. Look at the face he's got. I mean, he is intense today. Great Bare save. Yeah, barely saves it, Jimmy, and gets it out to Ashby. Watch him coming right into your living room. Rodney Ashby strong to the hole. <laughs> well, he gave him that ball fake at the top of the circle and that freedom to come down the lane. Quick first step, huh? <laughs> yep, last Metro loss was at home to VCU. That was... Uh, that was the first round of the Metro Conference Tournament. And Ashby throws it away. Miscommunication between Ashby and Kareem Washington. But that's a good point to make, Jim, too, that the last loss that Louisville's had in the Metro here. VCU has won in this building against Louisville. You know, in the second half, that gives you a lot of confidence. Turnover's pretty even in this game. We've seen both clubs throw it away here some in the second half. That basket will not count. Whistle and the foul. And Denny Crum, not a happy guy. Kareem Washington gets hit with the personal foul. That's his second and the first team foul on VCU. Inbounds pass, Tick Rogers. Center of the lane penetration, dishes it off. Kaiser had it blocked and he gets the foul. If they've got Kendrick Warren, that's his third. That's his third. So now you got Rozier with three. He's seating on the, sitting on the bench, excuse me, and Kendrick Warren now with three. We'll see what Sonny Smith will do. I think he'll go to the bench. He's going to have to. Bird is quickly up off the bench. You'll see the pass down low, and Warren rotate as Kaiser knocks down the free throw, and here comes Bird into the game. And that may change the entire game right now no question we'll see what happens in the next couple of minutes and uh, if you see a louisville run i think sonny will have to come back with kendrick right away ball knocked out of bounds by rogers has ashby had it here comes the inbounds rogers pressuring the ball you see louisville now go to some full court pressure and the trap you want to get it into the hands of this man kenny harris right away yeah, i think that what they'll do too is spread the floor let kenny harris try to create Hit a McCoy for a jump shot, maybe a Washington. Ashby outside. Doesn't let the pass go this time. Look at Greg Miner denying the basketball of this man. He finally gets it, but Miner doing a nice job on Harris. And here's that spread, Jim. Yes. And I think you're going to see Ashby post up the freshman. And Harris takes it himself, dishes it off down low, and it's knocked out of bounds. He was trying to get it to Ashby on the baseline. Wayne Morton finally gets a rest. Alvin Sims checks in. Another freshman from Paris, Kentucky. But a nice job for Denny Crum this year. Here's the lob. Ashby's got it. 
finds Harris. He's open. Oh. Why would you leave him open? Especially when he's able to get his rhythm. He had the one bounce that time. He got nice rhythm on his jump shot. Boom. 15 points in the game for Kenny Harris. Who came in averaging 14. And now what do you do offensively if you're Louisville? You've got everyone out of the lineup except Greg Miner. He's the only starter in there. And a whistle away from the ball. And they got Kareem Washington pushing down low on the block. That's his third personal. Mentioned Denny Crum, one of 11 finalists uh, this year for the Basketball Hall of Fame. And on different broadcasts I've had this year, I've pushed it. He, he's got to be in there. You look at all he's done. I agree. Two national championships, six final fours. Well over 500 games now that he's won. Terrence Gibson checks into the lineup for VCU as Washington sits with his third personal. See, they're real, really a bit disoriented offensively with only Miner in there from the starting lineup. Ball knocked away right into the hands of Miner, who scores. Well, the Cardinals get a lucky break. Yeah, get a lucky break, and it's the senior, the one starter in there who scores. Down low on the block, shot was missed by Bird. He should have scored that one easily and then batted out of bounds. The Rams will get it back. Well, you can't miss those cripples when they're presented to you like that. The minor, the only leader on the floor right now for the Cardinals. And he has been awfully active and vocal. And not sure what happened. Must have uh, a cut because he's going to the bench. There's Jerry May, the trainer. Yeah, they're going to take a look at him. Either that or it's a contact. Yeah, maybe a contact. You're right. Yeah. I think it was. Louisville shooting 44% in the second half. They shot 50% in the first half, but really struggled the last 10 minutes of the first half. Kenny Harris wants it on the outside for the long shot. This one will not go. Kaiser has the rebound for Louisville. Sixty-five, fifty-six. Fans in this building not accustomed to seeing their team trail, particularly in the second half. Oh. And they throw it away for the turnover. An uneasy feeling here at Freedom Hall for better than 18,000. And Denny Crumb's going to get the bench back into it. Dewan Wheat checking in. Take over the point guard spot. We'll do that in a moment. Bird operates out high. Pretty good perimeter ball movement. Harris looking for penetration. They kick it over in the corner. And that one will not go. And the whistle in the foul. And I thought that McCoy got hit when he let that one fly. And the officials got it. Boy, that's, that's a tough, tough foul. It, you know, not only do you send McCoy to the line, but you also, I believe it was a three-pointer. You give him three. Yeah, he's yeah, well behind the three-point line. So you had the rebound. Now you give it back to VCU. And he's got three foul shots. And Denny right now talking about exactly that. And why would you do that? And McCoy, a 76% free throw shooter. And we're going to be here a while because that's just the first of three. And the game number 10 in number 23. In fact, McCoy is the best free throw shooter for the Rams. As Kaiser gets a rest for Louisville and Ashby gets a rest for VCU. But when we last left you, it was McCoy at the free throw line. <laughs> and he's not done again. And now it's Morton back and Tick Rogers sits. Look at what McCoy has done this year defensively and scoring 18 a game. Today has not really been the big man for VCU. He sat out 12 minutes in the first half to hit a three-pointer here in the second and now gets three free throws on a play that really should have been a Louisville possession. And he has nine so far in today's game. Kenny Rogers, way ready for Kenny Rogers. He's going to do a little <laughs> singing too. Kenny Harris way out on week. <laughs> Doesn't quite do that. <laughs> About everything else though. Yeah. Outside shot is going to be drilled that time with a three-pointer by Osborne. Boy, I like him. I know you do. I really like him. He's going to be some kind of player before it's all over. And here comes the noise. 
fans rising as one, trying to rally Louisville. Bird, nice. Down low on the block, spin move. Shot would go, however, for Kendrick Lawrence and Rozier with a rebound. And Rozier changed his shot that time. Wheat to Martin. Blocked from behind. Rozier with a follow. That was Kendrick Lawrence with a rejection, but Clifford Rozier was there to collect it and score. Really a crucial possession now for VCU. The crowd is into it. They believe this is the Louisville one. They've got to try to get it to Kendrick Warren and isolate him down low. Well, he's going to work against Rozier. You see them setting up on the block. Let's see if they can get him an entry pass. And they call the holding foul on Rozier. Well, we've talked about the clash of the Titans. You're seeing it right now. That yeah. is four personals on Rozier. How about it, Jimmy? When you come down to the important time, it does become Rozier against Warren. And look at Warren get off the block. Morton shot. But there's that man, Rozier, with the follow. Now, though, his fourth foul. Break in the action. We'll be back after this message. Jim Brits and Terry Gannon with you live from Freedom Hall in the Bluegrass State. Wow, what a game we've seen. Not a bad opener. Yeah. On a Saturday afternoon. Woo. We see you in the lead. And fifth row here now, Jimmy, with four fouls. You can do a couple of things if you're Denny Crump. Number one is take him out. Obviously, he's not going to do that with 7.49 left in this game. Number two, you can go to a zone to protect him. I'm not sure you can go to a zone against Sonny Smith's club because they shoot so well, McCoy and Harris. Or you can get more help for him down low inside. All right, on the inbounds play, McCoy is fouled by Osborne. And that was a set play, obviously, by head coach Sonny Smith after they broke the huddle. Fourth on Osborne. So now you really have some fouls beginning to mount for Louisville as Ashby checks back in. And what an afternoon of basketball he has had. Didn't really get a chance to see, because they didn't set up the possession, what Denny Crum was going to do, whether he's going to switch Rozier off of Kendrick Warren or keep him on Warren with the four fouls and just get more help. McCoy's first offering at the free throw line was down. Osborne leaves. Tick Rogers checks in now for Louisville. And McCoy checking with Kendrick Warren and Ashby. Everybody getting their defensive assignments ready. McCoy again delivers at the line. It'll be McCoy who will match up against Morton. Warren has Rozier. Ashby is now going to move out and play Tick Rogers. That's what they were discussing. And DeJuan Wheaton sticks it from the outside for a three-pointer. It's a six-point advantage for VCU. Is that about? He certainly was. Gibson makes the mistake of getting too close to the sideline and stepped out of bounds when he received the pass. You guys do that all the time. I don't know how you can do that. I mean, step out of bounds. you got to know where you are on the floor at all times. This is Ashby against Rodgers. Rozier out high. Miner. This man can shoot it. Good ball movement, but solid defense right now by VCU. Here's the double, knocked away. Miner, however, comes up with a loose ball and scores. And here come the Cardinals. They now trail by only four at 70-66. Kenny Harris, the point guard, now becomes so important with the crowd into it. Defensively, Louisville picking it up a little bit. Now you do have Rogier on Ashby. And you've got Miner down on Warren. So that's a mismatch on the block. And they're really looking for that mismatch. Here's Kenny Harris. The ball knocked away. Tip controlled. Back outside. McCoy, head and shoulder pump fake. Ashby with the shot. He got it. What a big shot by Rodney Ashby. Huh? Are you kidding me? Ashby having the game of his career. 18 points, Rodney Ashby. Kick Rodgers for three. Jimmy, is this a game or what? This is spectacular. And timeout has been called. And 18,000 fans dressed in red are on their feet. It's a 72-69 ECU advantage with six minutes left to go. 
A dandy basketball game for you. 72-69. VCU leads Louisville. Uh, this was Terry Gannett in his younger days. <laughs> Actually, that's Brian Kaiser missing the slam right there. Now we're going to take a look at today's Pizza Hut delivery of the game. And when you're going to deliver it, here it is. Hendrick Warren. That more than qualifies for today's Pizza Hut delivery of the game. Oh, I like Brian Kaiser, too. Look at what you did to him there. You had to show that. He knocks down the three in the game, and you show that one, Jimmy. Boy, this is a wild atmosphere right now. Gibson to Harris. Louisville shooting better in the last few minutes to pick it up to 55, but VCU knocking it down 63%. And there you see Miner on that mismatch down low on Warren. And Kenny Harris shoots it up and won't go. Ashby had it, couldn't get it to go again. He followed it twice and it didn't drop. Back outside, DeWan Wheat, head and shoulder, pump fake. He's short off the buyer. Faded away that time. Yeah, then Tommy O'Neill says, stay right here. Who'd they catch? Could have been a push in the back. Miles on Kenny Harris, that's his first. Little shove in the back, that's why he came so clean on that rebound. Inbounds, knocked away. Kenny Harris has got it. He's going to score easily. Oh. So instead of VCU getting burned, possibly, they get the lucky break off the turnover, and they get the two points. What kind of turnover you get to when you're tired. Went right through the hands of DeJuan Wheat. 74-69, counting down to five minutes in this contest. Minor baseline. Oh Miner. Quick move from Greg Miner. The first step. He has 19. From the corner, three-pointer won't go. Ball knocked into the hands of Ashby, who had it stripped away from behind. Ashby hanging around and hanging around, huh? He has been where the ball's been all day long. He is having a career game. Oh, no question. This is, uh, he's going to save this tape. There is no question. I'm telling you, it was that cup talk you gave him prior to tonight or to this afternoon's game. And again... The misfortune of stepping out of bounds on the sideline on the inbound, and Sonny Smith can't believe it. Now the official Steve Wilmer telling Sonny to get back into the coach's Sonny box. Sonny better be careful here. Now Kenny Harris, very smart by Kenny Harris. And Sonny just smiling. <laughs> Kenny, thanks for the uh, reminder. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he was out of the coach's box, and that's what the officials were complaining about it. They could have teed him up, they quite frankly, have. for me. Sonny said the play was right in front of me. He didn't step out of bounds. Uh, both pleading their case, you know who's going to win. Dick Rogers, cross lane pass, it goes. Wheat's going to be short off that one. Ball is loose and saved. Oh, Terrence Gibson, what a save. Into the hands of you-know-who. Rodney Ashby has been everywhere on the... Basketball court today for the Rams. All right, they have Miner working against Warren down low on the block. It is a mismatch there. It is, but they haven't been able to reverse the basketball very well. Louisville playing pretty good defense. That's why Warren hasn't gotten the ball. They're looking for it right now, but McCoy thought about it, didn't trigger it. Gibson, center of the lane, kicks it back outside. Kenny Harris, no good. And it's Rozier with the rebound. Three-point advantage for Louisville. If they nail the three, they tie it. There's a three-point advantage, rather, for VCU if Louisville nails the three, they tie it. And the Cardinals haven't been able to get it to Rozier. Four or five trips down the floor. We'll see if they're going to go to him here. Now, Morton. And it's slapped away by Warren, and they got him for the reach. So he got him on the head. That's and that four. is four on yeah. Kendrick Warren. Yeah, four on Warren, too. So, And he's 20 feet from the basket and commits the foul. That's not the kind you want to commit. Now, if he's going to get it pushing Rozier down low, fine. But out here with the slap, what's he going to do with that? And we are all tied up. And the joints jump up. Miner again. 22 now for Greg Miner. And you're right, they haven't been able to exploit that mismatch on the block. Here's Warren. 
Kicks it off. Ashby! Short off the side of the iron. And it's Miner who has the rebound for Louisville. Dick Rogers. Give it off. Rozier scores! We'll see if Sonny gets a timeout here to collect the troops a little bit, make sure they know what they're doing. He might let him go one more time. Uh, he's got Kenny Harris, a point guard, who can run the show. That's why he doesn't go with the timeout. But they've got to get a good shot this time down, and they've got to get Kendrick Warren, I think, the basketball. Well, he's going to pop out high. Now Harris waves at him to go down low on the block. Ashby's got it. Ball loose on the floor, and it's going to be a jump ball, and the possession arrow is in favor of Louisville. See, Rodney Ashby has had a great game, but I'm not sure that's who you want to go to down on the block when you really, really need a hoop. 218 left, and you're down by two. And uh, not so sure that's what Sonny wanted. Louisville on a 12-4 run. Ashby cannot stay with Tick Rogers quickness-wise. He's going to have to back off, and he did. Martin has 15 points. Kenny Harris, penetrating move outside. They give it back to him, and he's going to shoot the three, and he's fouled, and he's going to go to the line and shoot three more free throws. Now, Dewan, we didn't think he fouled him. I think he did get some contact, and Denny Crum was up on the sideline saying no fouls, especially against Harris on the three-point shot to get three free throws. You saw it happen to McCoy a couple of moments ago. Well, now Kenny Harris, an opportunity with time standing still to move his team to within one point if he gets all three. Now, this is very big here. The clock doesn't run. Harris able to shoot three in a row. He's been picture perfect on the first two. Very cool under pressure, Kenny Harris. Well, you've seen the confidence Sonny Smith has in him. Didn't even call the timeout the last two trips down. They needed a bucket. Just let Kenny Harris run the show. I think Sonny likes the flow of the game right now. I think he feels that his team is right in, right in sync, right in the flow. Well, I, I think they've played well all day. Uh, to be within one with a minute 33 here at Freedom Hall, he's got to love that. And Louisville calls timeout. It's a one-point advantage for the Cardinals. Don't go away. This is going to be a dandy. We'll be right back. Jim Brinson, Terry Gannon with your courtside, and this has been spectacular. Been a dandy, hasn't it? And I think the last minute, 33, will uh, be so as well. One-point lead for the Cardinals, and they have the ball. Denny Crump called the timeout. He wanted to set up his offense, and you see Sonny Smith doing the same for his defense. And still, Denny doing the teaching on the sidelines. Boy, it's been some kind of game, huh? Virginia Commonwealth has with one timeout left. The Cardinals of Louisville also with one timeout. And Dick Rogers will control it out high. He has Ashby operating defensively against him. This man, Dewan Weed, has done a tremendous job in the last three minutes running the offense. Rozier playing with four fouls. Ball knocked away. Picked up by Ashby. <laughs> Who else? Pass was a little bit hard that time from Tick Rogers, and Morton couldn't handle it. And Kenny Rogers slows it up. They want to run some clock unless they get a cheap one. He had to force it off. And they call a foul. Ashby's basket will not count. What'd you see? Kenny Rogers concert the I guess I did. I don't know why I've got Kenny Rogers on my mind. <laughs> Kenny Harris. Good heavens. That's what? twice I've done that today. You got the new CD or something? Well. I'm, I'm reliving the I'm reliving the gambler series. <laughs> well, Kenny, somebody goes to the free throw line yeah. here for two big ones. And he has been nothing but money there. Osborne comes back in, and the last pass from Tick Rogers is a little bit too hard. So Denny is going to take him out and just talk to him a little bit. Again, doing the teaching on the sidelines. 
Osborne's been out for a while, though, with those four fouls. Money. Uh, Harris has been picture perfect every time. It's a one-point advantage. We are inside of a minute now with VCU with the lead. And if you're playing first possession, last possession, do you take a quick shot here to get the last possession? I don't think so. I think you've got to take a good shot. Make sure you get a good shot. You've you got to score this time down. Osborne thought about it. Instead, they throw it cross court. And I think Rozier should touch the basketball, whether it goes inside out or he takes a shot. There you go. Kick it out. Nice. Osborne, give it off. Morton has to force one up. Short off the iron. McCoy with the rebound. Good defense by BCU, and they did not get a good shot. Now the shot clock is off. You can hold it from BCU. If you're Louisville, you have to foul. And Wheat is going to body up against Kenny Harris. And that'll send the money man to the line. Wow. Denny Crumb's club did not get a good shot the last time. It looked like they were going to. They went inside the Rozier, kicked it out. But VCU did a nice job of shifting the defense. And you don't want to foul Kenny Harris, but they had no choice. He was just pounding the basketball. And that's one of the reasons I don't like the new rule, where you can stand there and dribble it and there's no five count because you never force the point guard to give it up. No, but see, I do like that rule, and this is the reason, because now you got your, your hot player, your best player at the free throw line. I like the chance for the, the team that's behind to come back. Oh, he missed that one. He missed that one. It's a two-point advantage, down to 10 seconds. This is Reed. You better hurry. He calls timeout. Yeah, good timeout. It's, he called it from the other side of the floor, and then he said, call it right here. There's an official right in front of you. That's Louisville's last T.O. 78 VCU lead. Welcome back, everybody. Raycon's offering this afternoon has been nothing but a gem. 80 to 78, Jimmy. Eight seconds left. I think Louisville wants to go inside and then kick it back out if Rozier doesn't have it. They go down to Miner, who scores with two seconds left. And now VCU will use their last timeout. 24 points for Miner. They did not want to commit the foul, and you called it correctly. They went down low. They did not They did not want to foul on the shot, and that's why Miner was able to get the shot. But they had a foul to give. The Cardinals not yet in the bonus. They were trying to commit the foul out top and couldn't get it. All right, so now you're Sonny Smith with 2.3 left to go and an opportunity for the win. Well, I, I think you do the old Christian Leitner. Uh, Heave it, uh, yeah, catch it, yeah, and throw Grant, it up. Grant Hill to Christian Leitner. You're going to try to throw it down and maybe set Kendrick Warren up about the free throw line and have him catch, turn, and shoot, or one of your shooters. But I, I think Kendrick Warren has the size to be able to go up and get it, and uh, he's got a better shot at grabbing the basketball in that situation. If you're Louisville right now, you just want to tell your troops, Make the ball be inbounded in front of you. Don't let anyone go long. Don't let the ball come in behind you going towards VCU's basket. All right, don't forget, Metro excitement continues on Raycom. Next week, Terry and I will be in Charlotte. It's the 49ers and the South Florida Bulls. It's a 1 o'clock start time. Please join us. I know you will. I will. I know you will. Be tough to match this one. Yes, huh? sir. What a game. And, and we could have more of it. We could have uh, a little OT action. Could be, yep. Yep. Better hold that flight. That's right. <laughs> See, right now, if you're Louisville, you don't want to foul, obviously, but you want to make VCU inbound the ball in the backcourt and always stay between the basket and your man so that the, the man catching the ball is going away from his basket. All right, and it appears that Louisville is not going to guard on the entry pass. They want Miner to help out with Warren. That Ashby here. throws it out of bounds. And no time runs off the clock. So it'll be Louisville basketball with two and three-tenths seconds left. And they'll bring it all the way back to the other end. Wow, what a mistake, huh? You have to, if you're going to throw the full life court pass, you've got to touch somebody. You've got to reach out and touch. Here's the shot for the win. It's going to be way short. And we're headed for an extra stanza. What a finish. Sonny Smith almost saw him throw this one away, but he gets a chance here at OT. Well, it'll be a five-minute overtime with our score tied at 80-80. That's Louisville and BCU. We're not done yet. 
We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Well, apparently, we're going to have to put a hold on our flights and a hold it on the bus to get us over to the uh, little flight station. We're going to be here for another five minutes. Western Kentucky was the team which sent Louisville into overtime. And the Cardinals pulled that one out at 78 to 73. And Denny Crum's clubs have been very good in overtime games over the years. Sonny Smith uh, gets a reprieve after, and, and, and Rodney Ashby too. I feel good about the overtime for Rodney because after the great game that he's had, he threw that one away on the out of bounds. They tried to throw it the length of the floor, and uh, Louisville was not able to score. So it's been a game that deserves another five minutes. It's been that good. And we are pleased as punch to bring it to you. Now, a little confusion over which way they're going. Yeah, fellas, the, the white is going <laughs> down to the left side, and, and the black jerseys are going to the right side. Now we got it. And Rozier is not going to center jump against Warren. It's going to be Osborne. And yeah, normally, Cliff does not jump center. They, they put Jason Osborne in there. And that's why, as he wins the tap, and it's Osborne. Freshman, huh? Awesome. And VCU right away has to battle uphill. Now remember, VCU struggled a bit in the last three minutes of the game trying to get the ball to Kendrick Warren. They weren't able to do it. And that's been with Greg Miner guarding Warren. They look for Kendrick out top. He's got it locked down low. Ashby collects it and scores. Oh, a little backdoor cut. And he beat Rozier. I think Cliff just kind of forgot about it. How can you forget about him? He's got 20 points. I know, but you know, in the scouting report, it says you don't have to guard this guy when, when he falls away from him. But today you do. One point advantage for Louisville. Pass knocked away by Harris. Juan Wheat trying to force it in that time to Rozier on the block. At the other end of the floor, Cliff Rozier with four fouls is not guarding Kendrick Warren, but down here Warren is guarding Rozier. Why not go down to Rozier, try to draw that fifth foul right away? Well, I think that was the intention that time, but Harris spoiled everything. Here's the lob. Yep, you got it. Immediately he takes it down low on the baseline against Warren. Sails it across to Miner, who's going to be short. Rebound, BCU's Harris. Three-pointer, Ashby got another one! Why, well, he's not only going to save this tape, he's going to mail it to all his relatives and friends next week. He's going to mail it to us. What a game. 84-83. VCU out in front. Tough matchup for Ashby here, though, with Osborne. You bet it is. But it has been his day so far. Osborne goes around him, pulls up, shoots it, and gets it. That's a tough matchup for Rodney Ashby on the perimeter. Jason Osborne just too quick for him. We're down to the three-minute mark. Ashby wants it. You bet he does. He's feeling good. Well, he's got it right now. And thinking about it again. Oh. And Cliff says, Coach, you told me I don't have to come out and guard this man. And then he comes saying, hey, that was before he pumped in over 20 against us here. 24 right now. He came into this afternoon's game averaging six. Wow. What an afternoon for Rodney Ashby. One point lead for the Rams. Ashby on the overplay. And the Rams control it, and then they throw it away. Terrence Gibson, consoled by Kendrick Warren. Here's where you take a deep breath, I think, if you're Louisville and say, plenty of time here, two minutes, 22 seconds, a lot is going to happen before the end of this one. And let's get back to our normal offense and, and try to do the things we tried to do at the beginning of the game. Bob down low on the block, Rozier triple teamed, he got it, and the foul, and if it's on Kendrick Warren, he's gone. Goodbye, Kendrick. No, they did not, on Ashby. They did, they gave it to Ashby. There's a break for Sonny Smith. It certainly is. Sonny had uh, turned his back, he was afraid that the call was going to be on Warren, but they got Ashby instead. 
Watch him post it up Kendrick Warren down low. That's too deep to allow him to get four black shirts, though, around Rogier. And, well, I'm not sure. There was some contact there with Kendrick, wasn't there? Well, yeah, there sure was. Rogier cannot get the free throw to drop. But Cliff's got a guard, Rodney Ashby, now. He scored twice on him in the overtime. And they're going to move Warren now into the corner. Miner has him defensively. Ashby brings Rozier away. They lob down low on the block. Warren's got it and scores it. Oh. They brought Clifford Rozier out away from the basket to open up the paint for Warren. Boy, what a nice little two-man game. A little screen inside. And you're right, they brought the weak side help away. Oh, both of these clubs in the second half playing so well. And look at Kendrick Warren. Here it comes. It's down. Hello. ECU with a three-point advantage at 90-87. Kendrick about took, a, took out one of our cameramen down there. <laughs> nice charge. Well, well, we're going going the other yeah. Inside of 115 to play. Cardinals trail by three. Morton lost it. Ball loose into the hands of Rozier. And Cliff scores. Oh, Rozier. Well, you got people One flying all over the place. I mean, the hoop. Well, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, and that time the luck was with Louisville. One point advantage. And they spread it for Warren down low. Look they at have, Miner. Yeah. Miner and Warren bumping each other down low. They're going to run some clock here and take some time off. They got the one-point lead, a big bucket here. If they hit a three, too, Jimmy, that's a four-point lead, one possession. Shot clock now at five. Kenny Harris penetrates, goes in, tried to draw the foul, and it wasn't called. Louisville quickly the other way. Osborne has it. Outside the one, we. Shot clock is off. Miner. No good. Rebound and a foul. And Kendrick Warren is flat on his back, but apparently okay. And that is number five on Clifford Rozier, and he is gone. Well, Miner had the three, Jim, and it was wide open. He normally buries it. It just doesn't go a little bit short. You see Cliff, lower part of your screen, just take Kendrick and push him out of the way. That, that may have been the best foul he's gotten all day. It, it, it could have been, you know, but actually that may not be a bad situation because we talked about what a poor free throw shooter Kendrick Warren is. Yes, yes, you lose Rozier, but with 14 seconds on the clock, what's going to happen here with Kendrick Warren? If you don't get the rebound, you get a foul anyway. Yeah. It's not a bad foul, that's what I said. And he drilled the first one. Kendrick Warren coming into today's game was a 41% free throw shooter. So the numbers on Cliff. Double double once again in, in big free throws for this man. Noticed it. Battle for the loose ball. Knocked out of bounds. And it's going to be VCU basketball off of Osberg. And who was there battling for the ball? Ashby. Break in the action. We have 12 seconds to go in this game. It'll be the Rams basketball when we come back. And VCU with a two-point lead over the Cardinals. All right, watch what happens here with Kendrick Warren at the line. See if it goes off Jason Osborne here or McCoy. Tough to tell. Might have gone off. I think that's a pretty good call. Looks like it did go off of Osborne. So the officials get it right, as usual. And Sonny Smith now with a possession. 12.7 seconds to go. They've got a two-point lead. Obviously, you want to get it to Kenny Harris, but they're going to use Harris to inbounds the ball and then to get it right back. So right. Tyrone, Louisville's got to guard Harris taking the ball out. All right, Tyrone McCoy, then, is the guy that you'd like to have the uh, ball, get the ball, because he's your best free throw shooter. He got it and scores! Wow. Boy, they set that up beautifully. Got to shoot the three. Tick Rogers off balance. No good. Harris with the rebound. And time is going to run out on the Cardinals. And the Rams are going to steal one here at Freedom Hall. What a game, Jim. What a game. All they wanted to do is inbound the ball. They end up getting a hoop out of it. And you look at midcourt. Coaches shaking hands. Sonny Smith awfully happy. And his team celebrates. Well, Louisville has played two overtime games so far this season. They won over Western Kentucky earlier this year and now lose to VCU 93-89. What a dandy game this has been. Final score, 93-89, the Rams over the Cardinals.